Man, I got toys in this old car. Yeah. Toys out of the box. Man, yeah. I got toys in my detox. Yeah. Catch me at the toy shop. 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 Man, I got toys in this old car. Toys out of the box. Man, I got toys in my detox. Catch me at the toy shop. This ain't for no scalper. You a scalper? Then fuck out shit. This one's for them real collectors. That's army building and posing figures. Marvel legends, imports, mini maybe I'm fucking with. Hype beast, we know about you. Stay buying figs, don't know about me. Book nice, my nigga. ACBA been popping lately off top, my nigga. They cut out game B2 amazing. MUs, my nigga. That's that shit that don't amaze me. This was for my niggas. That's really about they legends. Shouts out to Savage Poop, my niggas out in Texas. You already know. I don't fuck with no scalper. Nah. Nigga, fuck what you selling. Bitch. I'm all up in the toy aisle. I'm kicking kids. I'm reckless. My boy. nigga built my ruby on that Google chat straight flex. Look, I pop the package. I smell it. What? Pop the package. I smell it. What? Me and my nigga tiny at the toy fair straight spin. They asked to for that Deadpool and he ain't asked no questions. We too fly. I know this. Let me get your ass a checklist. Got the giant man. Hey, what's going on guys? We are back and uh, today we're going to go ahead and kick it off with this little shot that I'm working on. And uh, this shot is uh, is for the ACBA Instagram page. We're supposed to be doing three themes. One of them is a white backdrop. The other one has to contain water. And the last one is, um, I think, anything Spider-Man related. And this is what I have today. I'm, I'm trying to recreate like a, a scene with snow and stuff. I'm not really getting some good light over here. But um, I, I think that's a little bit better. Alright, so I'm recreating like a snow scene. And uh, this is how everything looks. And I, I even did this little... Not dial, but I created this little floor with the quickness just to do this shot but you can't even see it once you once it's here because i'm gonna go ahead and do my sh my shot something like this a little lower there you go i guess the raw you can see the rocks and stuff but yeah that's what i'm gonna go ahead and and try to take my shot like this and i see how it comes out for the snow i'm using uh some baking soda so I, I think it came out okay and um, then I have the uh, little mini mates right there where I stand. I don't really use stands but I didn't want to struggle with this and then like I said I'm going to go ahead and lower my shot like this so uh, you won't even be able to see it. Yeah and then I have four lights on my backdrop like I said on my other video. If you want to go ahead and do a, a clean white background you, ha you have to you have to have a lot of light on it so it, it comes out nice and clean so yeah that's my shot maybe I'll use um, the same setup to do another shot or two we'll see right now all right so I'm back at it and I have this little shot in, in the works and uh, this is a, this is my second shot for the ACBA challenge, the one that's going on right now on Instagram. And uh, this one's supposed to be anything related to Spider-Man. So this is what I have going on at the moment. Uh, I already took my shot. I already even posted it on Instagram. I know I posted it on uh, the ACBA page. But I'm still trying to tweak at it to see if I could. Uh, the one that I did, my original shot, didn't have a a cutout. So I'm trying to see if I could put that cutout in there. And I'm going to retake my shot and see how that one looks. 
and uh, so I could start taking everything down. And I know there's another um, another thing that I could be doing. I think the other one has to be um, anything water related or something like that. But I don't think I'll be doing that. I think that's <laughs> a little bit too much work at the moment. I don't have a lot of time to put into recreating a scene, especially one with water and stuff. But um, yeah. Um, I have this one and we'll see how this one comes out maybe take a couple of shots and put this one in, um put this one away already and um, I'll come back to see uh, if it came back I'm thinking of taking my shot something like this I think it looks okay and, just, and uh, this is my all my setup that I have I have but three lights and all, all of them are, uh, are kind of like uh, yellow bulbs. And I have on my, on this setup, I have about three, five lights on it just to illuminate those electric uh, effects that I have going on here. And like I said, I'll be taking my shot here. I'm going to go ahead and I'll darken my room right now in a bit and see how this comes out. I'm going to do something like this. I gotta fix that cutout too. Alright. And this song for them fuck yeah. niggas that's hating on you. Alright, so I've been taking a few shots over the weekend. I finally got that um, new spider wave out of the package. I got the Mayo Morales out and this new Spider Man. I still need to open a few of them, but. Um, I was kind of, kind of wanted to see these first, this new Spider-Man and the Miles Morales as well. I wanted to see the articulation on it, and uh, it didn't disappoint. It's, it's pretty good. It's pretty, it's really, really a good figure. Now I'm debating to see which one, which one do I prefer, if the Pizza Spidey or this new Spider-Man. Uh, the mold on this one, just because it's, it's supposed to be a younger Peter Parker. I think is um, or a new or a younger Spider-Man, I guess. Is the body's way way smaller. I have um, here's another here's another one that I have. I hope I you you get trooper case and look at the size on it. And uh, the rhino is crouching a little bit. But uh, that size is really, really good. It can, it looks really good in pictures and the size difference and all that. But uh, yeah, like I said, I got to open all of them up, both the uh, Spider Mans and both of the Maya Morales. And I uh, decided to put them in a shot. And um, what I have here, I have, I have two lights on the sides and one in the back of Rhino, and I. Um, and I really do like when I I, um, I place my lights this way. It really gives you a good lighting. And I you, I think you can see it on the on the video right now that it is it, getting a, a good light on it. And that's two on the side, and it gives you a really really good lighting. And um, I got these off of eBay. Little um, propane tanks, and these are just sharpeners. And um, Ryan Gomez was the one that um, picked this up first. I saw them on Facebook and I um, I got them off of eBay. They were like, I want to say like two dollars for both of them, so I guess a dollar a piece. And uh, they make really good props. All right, so let me go ahead and uh, take this quick shot and see uh, see what's cracking. All right. Here's a quick look at this dial that I'm getting ready. I finished it maybe about, I want to say about two, three months ago, but I didn't really get a chance to uh, post it anywhere or do any kind of video with it. But, um, <clears throat> excuse me. I uh, posted a picture on Instagram of the Finnish dial and uh, I got a few people interested in it and um, 
within a couple of hours it's sold so today what I'm doing is I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, get it ready like I said it was already done yeah I just um, <clears throat> what I like to do before I send a, a dial out I like to make sure everything's well painted there's no scratches because I do have it on the table or here and there and I just want to make sure nothing got uh, damage on it so that's what I did I'm going over the the paint apps uh, the magnets make sure everything's nice and sealed and uh, add any paint that it, it and add any paint on it that needs to be added or stuff like that and uh, what I did here um, I, I I added some I added some moss to it. Uh, you can see it right here. This is the moss that I added to it, and then I believe I got this at the dollar store or at Michaels, one or the other. But I know I was looking for it for a while. I wanted to do this type of look. I wanted to go ahead and make those vines kind of draped down to give it a good look, but um. I was looking for it for a while and I did purchase a few of them and I didn't really like the way they came out until I came across these like I said I think I got it on the dollar store but I'm not 100% sure but it does give you a nice look to it I did um, I don't want to put it together right now because like I said I did a few touches here and there I added some um, much much podge on the on the corners. I don't know if you can see it. It's still kind of wet, but I'll let it dry and I'll go ahead and uh, put it together in a second, and we'll go over it in a minute. All right. So here's how everything looks all put together. And like I said, I really, really do like the way this came out. I might um, do another one the same style, not the same concept, but similar to this with this temple ruins i really do like the way it came out and this is what i was telling you guys about how i, I like i wanted to get this look like the vines were draping down it just i think on pictures is really really gonna come together and it's really gonna make the picture look really really good and um on the moss what i did here uh, I think I added about two to three different type of mosses on it or maybe four. Yeah, I think I, I, it was four of them uh, I added that little thin one that you see on this wall. This is kind of a thinner moss and then I added a, a thicker one I don't really see it where it would be at <clears throat> Oh, there you go on top you can see this thicker one right here on the top and then I added a few of these flowers on the bottom the colorful ones let's see right here in the corners right here in the corner this is the one that i added and then the moss and then of course those uh vines that you see draping down from the dial uh, here's the stuff that i use to put all that moss together um what you do is first you add your uh your tacky glue and then as you're putting your moss together once you let you let it dry and once it's dry you spray some of this on top of it kind of just like um adds a few drops on it and it dries really re really well and then <clears throat> and then clear too you can't even tell it doesn't you don't get no type of gloss on it or anything and uh this is the moss that i was telling you guys this is what i used to make those vines and uh, again i'm not gonna tell you guys where i got it because i don't remember but i think it was in the dollar store and uh the price it escapes me at the moment too but it it, it looks really really good on dials so it's spanish moss tag glue and your your cement like this like i said you spray it or you, you could brush it on scenic cement uh this is um from Michael's or a Hobby Lobby but yeah that's um, what I had for this dial um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this video right here and um, finish getting this dial ready to ship out tomorrow morning all right fellas once again thank you guys for watching and uh, pressing like on those videos 
And uh, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Oh yeah, and before I go, I want to go ahead and um, show you guys this new head sculpt. is um, uh, very popular right now on Instagram. I picked up this head from a guy on Instagram. His name is, uh, I think, Mayshelf or something. Anyways, he, uh, he's been... Um, he did a really, really good job with this new head sculpt. And then I got, uh, I got Adrian to do this custom paint job on him and it um, just makes all that detail pop. Look at that. Really, really well done. That even, even that cigar looks like it's on and stuff. The eyes then, <clears throat> and the hair, he gave it a little bit of highlights, blue highlights on it. And uh, just the, the beard as well. What kind of rugged that full looks. Yeah. Alright. So we are out. Late. Catch me at the toy shop. 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 Man, I got. Boys, mental.